This problem describes beta decay to us, where nuclear transformations produce electrons, or positrons, which are effectively the opposite of electrons. A positron is sort of like a proton, except with the mass of an electron. Part A of the problem asks us whether an electron or a positron would be produced if a proton transforms into a neutron. Now, keep in mind the principle of charge conservation. That is, the net charge within some particles before a transformation should be equal to the net charge after the fact. In this case, we're starting out with a proton, which has a positive charge. We know for a fact that one of our resulting particles is a neutron, which has a neutral charge, so that positive charge has to exist somewhere in our result. This reaction formula makes sense only if a positron is produced, since positrons are positively charged. Part B asks basically the same question, except instead we're transforming a neutron into a proton. Once again, is an electron or a positron being produced here? Since a neutron is neutrally charged, we know that the net charge on this system is always zero. If a positron here is positively charged, so we need a negative charge somewhere here to cancel it out. Well, an electron is negatively charged, so that is our answer.